Jerk technique, like with almost all kettlebell techniques, we have some negotiables that are based on your body type, your physical limitations or attributes, maybe your personal preference. But when it comes to safety, we have non-negotiables. Weight stacked over your center of mass. And I think you hear this, this kind of a common theme of having the weight in alignment. So, so now the weights are over the hips, right? And they stay between the heels and the toes to position two. Now, this is that overhead position. This is where it's super important, where the kettlebell is in alignment, goes over the hips, between those heels and the toes. Let your kettlebells come back a little bit and bring your hips forward like, yeah. Oh, like that? Yeah. This is like a no-no, this is non-negotiable. Push those hips back into yeah. the normal position. Now stand all the way up, good. Still, everything's in alignment. Actually, if you were to watch those kettlebells go from rack to second position to third position, they'd be going in a straight line and her feet have not moved. So her center of mass is in the same place. You can bring them down if you like. Here's another non-negotiable. For a jerk to be a jerk, the power must be generated by the legs, transferred to the bell via the triple extension in the arm body contact. If you don't have arm body contact and you're doing one of these, I don't know what it is, but it's not a jerk. Even with the barbell jerk, the weight rests on the skeleton via the front delts. All right, in this case, the weight rests on the iliac crest via the arm, okay, mm -hmm. the elbow hip connection. Mm -hmm. So, and then the legs are the primary mover. The arms don't even come into it. They, they guide the kettlebells a little bit. They're guiding those projectiles, but they don't really come into play until you've caught the bells locked out. Okay, this is when the triceps start working. Bells fixating and lockout. As with most overhead exercises, we want just, it doesn't have to be forever, but just momentary fixation of the kettlebells so that we establish control and we microload those joints so that we can strengthen the stabilizer muscles, the actual joints and the tendons surrounding. So fixation of the kettlebell, that's a non-negotiable. With your legs straight, because the thing is your arms get straight before your legs get straight. So well, that's where it gets sloppy Because we wanna stack all the joints, right? Yeah. We wanna stack the ankles, the knees, the hips, the shoulders, the elbows, the wrists, all right? We want all of those joints to get the benefit of that microloading for just a moment, yes. all right? And then if we're talking about competition, if, if anybody's interested in that, then if you don't fixate, then that's just a no rep. But I'm just talking about it from a health and safety standpoint. Fixating the kettlebells establishes control, gets you ready for the next rep, and it's also good for the joint health. It's gonna give you better bone density, better tendon density, better joint density. Knees straight and bells stationary in the rack. So go ahead, please show oh. us the rack position again. We're gonna, we're gonna keep driving this one home, but the rack position, the knees need to be straight. So if you can't get them straight with your feet close together, you're gonna to have to stand a little bit wider. And then the bells are still, and that's just establishing that control. And it's a clear separator between reps. We didn't say this in the uh, common errors, but bent knees in the rack the happens a lot. And that is a common error. Right. It's gotta be straight. Gotta be straight and go as wide as you have to go to get them straight. And if a person can't keep them straight, then they're probably not ready for the jerk yet. Might need to work on the mobility a little bit before they can actually do the jerk. Speed of transition, this is a non-negotiable. And this is just how, you, can, you cannot jump slow to make it overly simple. Yeah. So you have to go from one to two to three quickly. Go to from one to two slowly. Oh. Um. It doesn't work. That speed of transition needs to happen lightning fast. Now here are some of the negotiables. 